What is going on you guys? Christy Anderson here with One Fish, Two Fish, and it is that time again, the weekly or bi weekly fishing ports are back in action. All right, you guys, it's time to get off your butts, back out on the water because fishing season has finally arrived and Jeff and I are beyond stoked to meet you guys back here and give you the best lowdown from salt and freshwater that you guys have all been waiting for. I know the winter has been quite a buzz, but guess what? We have still been getting on them, getting out there and getting some action. So we're about to bring the heat, bring you guys with us on our journey and share everything you guys need to know on this most comprehensive fishing rundown in all of Virginia Beach and beyond. Uh, this is one of our favorite times of the week uh, to be with you guys, to share with you everything that's been going on, to give you guys a lowdown from other local anglers, charter captains, local fishing, uh, tackle shops because they have everything you guys need to know on tricks, tips, and everything you need to know to get out there and be successful out on the water. So, all right, y'all, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our weekly, bi-weekly fishing reports. You guys wanna make sure you're getting those right to your phone. Uh, you guys won't wanna miss out on those. Also, um, if you guys ever have any questions or comments or even wanna uh, hear more on our reports such as fish migration, if you guys have any tips or uh, tricks that you guys want us to be sharing with you guys, we would love to incorporate that right here on this channel because it's all about community. Uh, we are so about you guys and what you guys wanna hear, what you guys need to be successful out there. So we're gonna bring the heat and you guys are gonna be in for it. So time to break it down for our saltwater fishing action from this last couple of weeks. Uh, whether or not you guys have been out on the water, the fish are still active, they're still biting. The Elizabeth River and North Landing River are reporting schoolish, schoolish striper catches around the Old Hot Ditch and Pongo Ferry Road near Back Bay. Okay, you guys, coming up really quick, I'm gonna share with you what Jeff and I have been up to over there, getting on some fish in. We were smacking stripers left and right uh, in a lot of the feeder creeks and rivers near the Albemarle Sound. So you guys, striper are hot. You guys wanna get on them, we got on them. Also my recommendation based off of all the information, personal experience right now, uh, for best fishing opportunities in our region right now, you guys are looking at striper in the feeder river and creeks down in North Carolina, uh, from the Noose River to the Roanoke River and others in the Albemarle Sound. So uh, that's one location you guys should really be hitting up. Also, Jeff and I have firsthand experience uh, this past week with Captain Mitchell Blake. What's up, Mitchell Blake? Uh, one of our favorite captains, good buddy of ours now. He put us on 50 plus striper. 50 plus, you guys. These aren't small striper I'm talking about. Uh, we're, we're pushing 30 inches right here. So I actually caught a few of the biggest of the day and mine were definitely almost 30 inches. So also you guys can check out that vid on one fish, two fish. And I'm pretty sure I caught bigger than my husband, but that's okay, he was smacking him too. So if you guys are looking to get on some killer fishing action right now, I would recommend calling up Captain Mitchell Blake at IBX Charters as spring striper season is in full swing in North Carolina between now, March, and April. So you guys, striper season is hot. You guys wanna be getting on them, getting after them. Uh, here is one of the, um, uh, the kind of the weekly rundown from the last week. We, we've been getting on some black drum. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of black sea bass, tilefish, and a lot of good action out there for all of your blue, black, and yellowfin tuna. Bringing you all the reports from Lynn Haven from the last week, you guys. So their reports of offshore are actually pretty strong. There's a lot of action out there, a lot that's biting. And um, you guys are gonna be want to head at, heading out to the, uh, the wrecks out there. And uh, the wrecks are about, they're pretty far. So you guys are gonna be taking quite a hike out there, but a lot of our anglers are getting on them. So if you guys are looking to get on the sea bass and taw tog action, right now you guys wanna hook up on some green crabs for the tog. That's what they're biting. Uh, that's what they're asking for right now. So definitely get on uh, the green crabs. For our sea bass, you guys are really gonna wanna be using squid and jigs. Most everyone has been limiting out on both. So this is not just a couple catches. I mean, they're limiting out on both tog 
and sea bass. So a lot of reports. Our togs that have been weighing in at a, at a couple of our local tackle shops have been all between eight and 12 pounders. So pretty robust in size, uh, pretty girthy. So we're looking at some pretty healthy fish, y'all. Uh, our sea bass are actually running from three to six pounds right now. So they're also coming in at some good sizes. Again, everyone is running about 30 to 50 miles off of shore to get to those fish. I know all of my winter anglers are excited to get out there, so they do what it takes. They get off their butts and they get on out there to those wrecks. Uh, also, the weather's been really nice. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm in my shorts and t-shirt, you guys. We have had a break in the cold front, which is amazing. All right, y'all. Rudy and Lynn Haven right here in our backyard. Bet y'all are wondering what's been going on. So have I. Um, we've just had reports from the last week. Um, actually, not a whole lot of reports have been coming out of Rudy and Lynn Haven, so that's why I'm wondering what's been going on with the action and the bite. Um, but although I haven't heard much myself, if you go to the backs of Rudy and Lynn Haven or areas where there's a shallow flat next to a deep channel or slough, I bet y'all could get on some puppy drum or even some trout. So uh, if you guys wanna get back there now, you should. I guarantee that the residential fish and species are still there. Also checked in at Oregon Inlet Fishing Center, one of Jeff and my favorite spots to go fishing. And uh, they have come in with a really strong inshore bite, you guys. They've been getting on some puppy trum and also their big red drum. They had a lot of releases. They're too big to keep. No slot sizes, I'm talking big drum. So uh, that is really exciting, you guys. With the warmer weather, those drum are not so lethargic. They are getting active, they are biting, and uh, they're coming in uh, in a lot of numbers. So lots of bites, lots of hookups. Time for you guys to get out there. Send us your pictures. We wanna feature you guys here. Show us your best catches from this week next week and later on. Right now, because of our warmer weather, we're even catching large sea mullet right off the beaches down in Buxton, which is a huge sign, you guys, for things to come and just showing you how active all of our fish are out there, that the sea mullet are coming in this close to shore that you guys can just go right here off the beaches and catch those mullet. If you guys are itching to do some wade fishing or inshore fishing, the drum bite in the Outer Banks is on the rise, as I just shared. So you guys are gonna wanna get out, put on those waders, get on out there, throw out your lines, and get on some drum. For inshore, if you guys are wondering what they're catching, the drum, uh, and all, all those other inshore species, obviously artificial, that's what we use, that's our favorite, so they're hooking up on artificial, but also if you guys are looking to use live bait, go to your local tackle shop, and uh, just pick up some manhaven and finger mullet, because those will put you on them uh, pretty frequently and get you some good hookups. For your offshore bite in the OBX, uh, last Tuesday, excellent reports of black sea bass, really good sizes of healthy, good looking fish, you guys. These are really healthy fish coming in for reports. We are also seeing a lot of yellowfin and blackfin in the mix too. The blackfin is actually a really preferred species by a lot of our commercial fishermen. So those commercial boats have been going out in mass numbers and have really been getting after them this season. Have some really great reports coming up from that. The commercial captains have reported some really good weights, you guys, with uh, one blue fin reporting at 533 pounds after it was dressed. And that was a commercial catch. So awesome job. That is a nice size blue fin you're getting on. We've also have reports of another uh, 390 pounds just a couple of weeks ago. Also another commercial captain. Uh, this one was from a private boat. 72 inch blue fin, 383.90 pounds right there. They have to actually report these fish because they're highly migratory. So when you guys are out there, they're reporting all those fish that come in, which is good for us to share with y'all. Baits that they are using, if you guys are looking to do your offshore fishing, uh, you guys are gonna wanna be using some ballyhoo to get on any of those uh, blue, yellow, and black fin. Ballyhoo's gonna hook you up, hopefully every single time. Although all of our anglers, that's what they're reporting to you. So hopefully that'll be good for you guys. Also, uh, we cannot leave our freshwater action, our freshwater anglers out there because We've got a lowdown just for you guys, coming straight out of the Chickahominy. Uh, you guys, lit uh, lake midday water temps were in a low to mid 50s in the main lakes. 
So the water temps are finally rising, but don't worry because the crappie action is hot. Crappie are beginning to spawn. It is their time to spawn right now. So we're having a lot of reports of crappie action as well as bass. Um, also want to give a huge shout out to John and his son. You guys check out this picture of this pig of a bass. All right, so water clarity is a big deal to all of us anglers. We want to know what the water clarity is looking like out there. So the water the last couple weeks has been a light to medium brown and slightly to moderately cloudy in the central lake. So when you guys are picking out uh, a lot of your lures, just keep that in mind. Also, a lot of blue cats and bullhead uh, were on the deeper flats along drop-offs and in the channel in the main lake and scattered in creeks uh, and we're hitting live minnows and cut bait. So if you guys aren't into trying artificials in the winter, those are gonna probably be your go-to live baits. Uh, most crappie you could find in the drop-offs and in main channels near the main lake, especially near wood covering. For a lot of my anglers out there, you guys probably already know this, but wood, concrete, hold a lot of heat from the sunlight. So a lot of those fish are gonna be uh, kind of congregating around wood, structures, docks, trees, so keep an eye out for that. Crappie activity was starting to slowly pick back up and the crappie were hitting live minnows. Uh, also, uh, Wright Bait Company and Southern Pro Curly Tail Jigs small tubes, Kalen crappie scrubs, small swim baits, and blade baits. Curious to see what you guys have been using, what works for y'all. Please uh, drop a line below to help everybody else out. That way we can know what they are, uh, what kind of action is happening out there, what lures are working the best. Just curious to see from you guys what, uh, how you guys are getting on them. Also, if you guys want to be getting on some perch, there are yellow and white perch that were scattered. Uh, on some deeper flats and some drop-offs and channels uh, in the main lake. And when active, they were hitting live minnows, small swim baits, and jig, uh, small, small jigs as well. Also, if you guys are looking to get on the bluegill, the bluegill bite uh, is actually doing pretty well right now, and they could be found along the drop-offs or in channels in the middle of the lake. Uh, and also, they are hitting some small jigs, wet flies, Nico nymphs, small swim baits, and live worms. So just to give you guys a little tip and pointer on what they are going after right now. Also for all my bass people, if you guys are looking at what kind of bass bite is happening, many of the bass and pickerel were in deeper flats along drop-offs or in channels in the main lake where pickerel or a few bass were in deeper channels and in creeks. Uh, also when the bass and pickerel were active, uh, all of our reports that had come in, they're really hitting those minnows, spinner baits, uh, stick worms, blade baits, jigs, and a bunch of other stuff that have been reported. So just to give you guys some hope, there's a lot of action out there on uh, the freshwater front. So don't miss that. Okay, you guys, Woo! that is it for our rundown from the past couple of weeks. Uh, you guys, we have not forgotten about you. Actually, we've been preparing the last couple of months to bring you guys uh, the best, most comprehensive fishing rundown report. Everything that you guys need to know. One main hub for all of my anglers out there. Also, this is a huge community platform, you guys. We want all of your pictures. Don't forget to subscribe so that way our weekly or bi-weekly fishing reports come right to your phone. You guys won't want to be missing out. So thank you guys for stopping by, for watching our fishing channel. Would love to hear what you guys have to say and to see your pics and all of your catches. I wanna see everybody off their butts, out on the water catching fish. Don't forget to subscribe, send in your photos, and can't wait to see you guys in a couple weeks.